Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another episode of the Tricky Brickies. Well, I'm in the thick of it. I'm in London. Well, nearly London, East End, Ilford. And we have got a little job to do. Bit of a repair to do here. We're gonna change this side. And this side's been hit as well. Bit of alteration's gonna happen with this pier. He doesn't want it going back where it originally was. So what we're gonna do is make this nine inch pier into an 18 inch pier so it matches the other side. That's the plan. But first things first, let's work out exactly how many bricks, how many bags of sand and everything I need to make this little mission a success. Do you know, I'm looking at this and I'm thinking, I'm gonna take this whole pier down. I'm going to cut straight down here, bang, all the way down straight to this part here, and then build on top of this, bang, there, that way, I think that's going to be best. Take all of that down there, that L, whomp, all of that down, and then I'm, I'm up my build up from there. Yeah, that's the one. Well, I've shot down to the famous. Travis Perkins, I'm trying to find a match for these bricks. They've got a few sorts here, but I don't think I'm gonna find any, I don't think I'm gonna find an exact match. Not in here. Loads of LBCs. Look. And they're not really. I think it's gonna to have to be them, LBCs, I think. LBC Tudors. It's either LBC Tudors or they've got some Athistons around here. Look like Athistons or they're for Tuners or something. But Atherston, Atherston Reds or Leicester Reds. I think these are probably the closest. I'm gonna to get to them. These ones in here. Yeah, I'm gonna go with them. Right, I'm back with my bricks, sand and cement. Now, I've cleared all them bricks, put them ones over there. I think by the time I've taken these few down here, which are coming down, and all these ones from this pier, which I'm rebuilding, these are all the same brick. So, I'll have a load more of them, and I should have enough then for this side, with what I've got here, and the ones I take down from there should finish this bit of a panel. Get all this panel in and all this header done. And then I can rebuild the pier in new bricks, same as the new ones I'm gonna do on this. So both piers will match, and both panels will match, but the line along the side of the pier will be the, the change, but it's as close as I can get. It's the, the wholesaler that's near me, it's the bricks they've got. And they're not that far off, you know, so. I think doing the piers in a different colour and keeping the panels the same will keep it looking better. So that's what we're going to do. There we go, bricks out. Oh, they've got a few dark shades on them. We're trying to get the redder, the redder face to the front of the build, hopefully. Just to see how we get on. I think they'll look alright. I think they'll look good. And let's get this pier cut down. <laughs> So uh, there we have it, that's how the new pier is going to be set out to match the one on the other end. Nice. Lucky we've got a few ties in here to let hold it all together. Lovely old job. I'm looking at that colour, that ain't far off of it. Just a touch more. We'll get it. I'm going to match the colour as best I can. Maybe it's quite yellow sand around here so it always comes up yellow. There we go, there's your match. 
by the time that's dried out, that'll lighten up just a touch. Not much beautiful. Get these all leveled up to one level first of all. couple of courses on there and then the inevitable the skies have opened Ugh. the muck's fairly wet the bricks are wet have to cover this up for a bit I think Ugh. right I've decided it's absolutely nailing it down still so I'm gonna go and get the rest of the materials for this I need a couple of 450 slabs to cap these off with the other ones, all the other piers have got big, them big balls on them. Ha! <laughs> big set of balls. But I looked on, I was, I was smart about this. I thought there's no way I'm going to be able to get these balls just like that. And then I looked on Google, Google Maps, to see what the wall looked originally, and it was just two slabs on there. I'll show you the picture now. There's just two slabs on there, as you can see. So, that's what I'm going to put back on it. And then it'll keep it to how it was originally. So, happy days. Let's go and get these materials. Aha! Right, I've got the rest of my material. I'm going to quickly unload this lot, get it all covered over. To get out of here. I ain't going to do anything else today. It's just coming up to one o'clock. It's absolutely pissing down. No point in knocking out another gauge now if it's going to stay like this. So, I'm going to come back tomorrow, get this finished. Boom! It's all about Versace! Right, we're back. We've had a bit of a run. We're going to have to clear all that up. It's a bit bit runny and stuff down the bottom there, but it was absolutely soaking wet yesterday. I covered it up as best I could. Ugh. Right, let's crack on, get a mix going. Day two. Get this job finished today. Come on! There we go, the whisk in motion again. Another gauge of muck there. Let's get this sorted out. There we go, there's pier number one up. It's still got to be pointed and cleaned. But I don't think that looks too bad. Doesn't stand out too much to the eye. Nice. Right, well, I've just cleaned this side up. Got all the shit and dirt and everything off of it. All the rubbish and crap. So now I'm just going to give this one, get this one started. Going to use up the old bricks first and run in as I go. Lovely.
Here we go, I've got my dog tooth set on now. Nice. I'm gonna get this pier up to level now. Lovely. As you can see here, I've chucked some ties in. Keep it all good. Happy days. When I build a pier, to get it so it's all level, I put my muck along the wall, one side first, then I'll do the opposite side, here. Keep in my eye to see that both beds are similar in height. Then I'll join them up. And I've got a nice bed all the way around. Then I work. I work this side first of all. This is my gauge corner. Run my two bricks across here first of all. Then level them. Now the only thing I didn't do there was check for gauge, but I'm pretty sure I'm within a within a smidge. For experience, if you haven't done it before, I recommend measuring up every course. When you've laid as many as I have, it becomes a bit easier. You just get used to the right height. Now I'll range across to here and that is bang on level already. So is that. I'll just check them this way. There we go, that two of them bang on. I'll do the same as what I did the other side. I'll check for up right. Now this side and this side are correct, this side and this side are correct, so I should just be able to range this brick in now, between these points. So I'll perp it up, double perp it, slot it in, push it down, now I can use my level push it to join the points so I'm just join that way to that way which it is we know that's bang on do the same the other side a little bit too much muck in there take a touch off of that squish him in Push down with a level to 
for a touch in. That's hard. Nice. That's another course on. They seem to be winding out a touch. I'm just going to tap them in, just a gnats. Keep an eye on these perps, they're already getting a little bit big. Sometimes you just have to lean them in slightly both ways, depending on the bricks. A few smaller bricks can throw it out there, see? Two courses on top of this snake of muck. Straight through here, and then we can start doing the opposite. Put these few cuts on, and I can make this scallop nice. Happy days. Right, I'm about to do my scallop now. I've just laid these ones, I've perped them, I've just chucked them on the wall and leveled them. So now I'm gonna get my string line like this. I'll put the pin in that side at the same distance as what it is that end. And I'll bring it to the middle. And there is my scallop. There, I've measured the distance on this string, how far it was from the other side. That is the center. So, bang, there we go. That'll be my line. I'll just mark that now with my sharpie and then I can cut them and then I can lay the brick on edge on top of them. Nice. There we go, all flowered up, nice scallop. Now we've just got to run these ones in on the top. Then we can uh, get a cap on. Yeah boy, nice. I think that flows up there nicely. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Oh. Go on the fire brigade. <laughs> Ambulance. Yeah, I think that looks well, that. So now we got to point that up, get all the rubbish inside the pier, and then we're happy days. Bosh. Happy days. Not a bad match. I don't think. Looking nice. Yo. Nice, happy days. I think I'll wash down. Looking good. Ooh. I even just chucked a little bit of the last bit of muck in here just to fill this hole up. That weren't part of my job, but I did it anyway just to lock that in a bit. So yeah. All good. Another one complete. I hope you enjoyed that episode, ladies and gentlemen. Please don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. But until then, peace out and pow. Hey, it's Brandy Roderick here, Playmate of the Year 2001 and from Baywatch. I just wanted to say you're watching the Tricky Brickies. And make sure you like and subscribe. I did. <laughs>